Let's talk about the Microsoft Office Quick Access Toolbar. Why was it invented? How is it used by most people? How can you use it like a pro? And what are some of the features and uses that even many of the pros don't know about, but you will? The Quick Access Toolbar is a feature that's included in all of the Microsoft Office applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, etc. It's located in the upper left corner of each of these applications. It was invented in response to when Microsoft Office 2007 was released. In Office 2007, the newly created tabs and ribbons were not customizable. Microsoft recognized that users like to customize their older drop-down menus and toolbars, and now putting them in a situation where they couldn't customize the tabs and the ribbons was going to cause somewhat of a revolt, minor that it might be. So their solution to this was to give the users the Quick Access Toolbar. This is a place where customization can take place. The Quick Access Toolbar is loaded with some preset options, such as saving, undoing, and redoing, but not much else. Users were given the option to click this down arrow on the right of the Quick Access Toolbar, and then select from a list of some of the more popular items, like opening, printing, spell check, and in Excel's case, sorting. If you wanted one of these features, you would just click the option that you wanted, and that would be added to the Quick Access Toolbar. So I could add something like New, and Open, and Print Preview. Now notice that the newly added icons always went to the end and I might not be a fan of the arrangement of the icons, or there might be choices that I want that aren't listed in this convenient dropdown. In that case, I could go to the bottom of the dropdown and choose Customize. In the customization area, we're presented with two panels. The one on the left is the list of available icons. The one on the right is the list of icons you're currently using. The left panel defaults to what are called the popular commands. So these are the ones that Microsoft expects most people are going to want to use. If you don't see what you're looking for in the popular commands, you can hit this drop down, and this will present you with a list of every regular tab and every contextual tab in the program. So if you were to go to the data tab, you'll see every option that's available on the ribbon for data. So if I was a Power Query user and I created a lot of blank queries, I could actually add blank query to my quick access toolbar and just be a single click away from that feature as opposed to the four or five clicks it normally takes. If you're not sure what tab or ribbon the feature that you're looking for is on, you can choose the category called All Commands. This will list every command from every tab and every ribbon. Seeing as they're in alphabetical order, it might be a little easier for you to find what you're looking for. So if you insert a lot of pictures from files, you can choose Picture from File, add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. If you don't like the order that the items are in your Quick Access Toolbar, you can click an option and use the up and down arrows to essentially reorder the list. So for me, new file, I like to have at the very top, followed by open. If I'm not using the autosave feature, I can remove this, and I'll have save next, then my undo, redo, and then anything else. When I click OK, those items are now in the upper left corner of my screen, and always available regardless of what ribbon I'm on. In terms of customization, one of the things I like to do is move the quick access toolbar from above the tab and ribbon area to below the tab and ribbon area. The reason for this is when the Quick Access Toolbar is above the ribbon, you don't get any text that can explain what those icons mean, and you lose a lot of the artistry because the icons become simple line drawings. If we go back to the down arrow and customize, there's an option in here for changing the toolbar's position from above the ribbon to below the ribbon. You can see now how the icons are larger, they're in color, and they have text. So for some of those icons that look very similar, it helps you differentiate one from another. If you find that you're getting too many icons with long sets of text and you're running out of room, if you don't need the text, you can go back into Customize and uncheck the box that says Always Show Command Labels. So this looks more like when it was above the ribbon, but at least the icons are in full color. An easier way to add items to the Quick Access Toolbar is if you're going through the ribbons and you find something that you're using a lot, say Name Manager, if you right-click on the button, you can just click Add to Quick Access Toolbar, and that item has been added. If there's an item on my Quick Access Toolbar that I don't need, I can right-click and remove it from the Quick Access Toolbar. Now here's a feature that a lot of seasoned users of customization don't know you can do this, or don't realize you can do it. Let's say that I want every one of these library categories to be available to me. If I were to go through each one, right-click Add, right-click Add, right-click Add, right-click Add, eventually this starts filling up my Quick Access Toolbar. Let's remove these. If I want most or all of the icons within a group, instead of adding the icons separately, go to the group's name and right-click Add. 
this will add one icon. This way, if I'm on a different ribbon and I wanna insert a function, instead of having to move over to the formulas ribbon, go to the category, pick my function, I can now just click this one button and the entire group of buttons appears, and then I can start drilling into them. So on the data tab, if I use a lot of the data tools, I can right click the data tools group, add the quick access toolbar, and then no matter where I am on the ribbon, I'm one click away from all of my data tools. If you don't need this group, you can right click and remove it. When you start to have a lot of icons on your quick access toolbar, it might be more visually appealing to space them out a bit. Now the way we can do this is we can go to the small arrow at the end, go down to customize, and no matter which group you're looking at, the first item in the group is always separator. This is just a blank line graphic. So if I were to click separator and hit add, this adds this line to the bottom of my list. I can then move that line to any position I like. So if I were to move this between say new, open, and save, I could add another separator and put that after my undo redo. And I could add another separator and say put that after my print controls. You can add as many separators as you like. Then you can strategically place them So now when you hit OK, you get these nice little divider lines that help segment up features that have some common purpose. If you've taken a fair amount of time to customize your ribbon and your quick access toolbar, it would be unfortunate if you lost those customizations, say due to a hard drive failure and having to reinstall Office, or if your laptop was stolen or you lost it and you had to get a new laptop and now you have to take the time to rebuild this entire infrastructure. Take a moment to export the customization settings to a file. So going back into the customize area, in the lower part of this dialog box, there's an import export button, and I can export these customizations. The file is saved as a .exported UI file. I'll export this. Now just to prove a point, I'll go to reset and reset the quick access toolbar to the factory default. So now we're pretending like I've got a whole new computer, but I'd like to have all my customizations. I can go to customize, import export, and then import the customization file. I'll choose it from the folder, hit open, tell it I want to replace my existing settings, hit OK, and now I have everything back. You could also use this as a way to share customization environments. So if you want your entire team to have this custom one-stop shop area to work from, you could design it, save it as a file, and then either email it to them as a file attachment or just take it over on a USB stick and then import it to the devices. Now our final feature of the video, and this is the one that a lot of seasoned customizers don't know you can do this. Suppose you have a feature that you only use when you work in a very specific file. The icons on the quick access toolbar are there regardless of what file you're working with. So features that you only use in certain files, you have to still look at those icons even when you're never going to use them. This can lead to a very bloated quick access toolbar. So let's say the forecast sheet option I use only in this specific Excel file. Instead of right click and adding it to the QAT, I'm gonna to go to the toolbars customize section. And right here where it says customize toolbar for all documents, this is what causes the icons to be there regardless of the file you're in. But if I switch to the file that I'm in, and now I'll go to the data tab, scroll down and find my forecast sheet option and add it. When I hit okay, you can see the forecast sheet option has been added to the QAT. But when I close this file, that icon goes with it. If I reopen the file, the icon comes back. The really nice thing about this is that feature is migratory. If you email this file to somebody and they open it on their computer, that icon will appear in their quick access toolbar. This is ideal for things like launching macros. But here's one more thing about the quick access toolbar, and this may be the best thing of them all. In every Office application, if you go to the customization section of the QAT, in the category dropdown, there's a category called commands not in the ribbon. Here is an absolute treasure trove of things that you will not find anywhere in this program other than this list. There are some incredibly interesting features in here, and you really should take the time to scan through this list, not just here in Excel, but also in Word and PowerPoint. One of the things that I constantly amaze people with when showing this commands on the ribbon section is Excel has its own built-in camera system. If you wanna know what that one's about, do a little quick Google on Excel camera. You'll see it do some amazing things.
So if you've never used the Quick Access Toolbar before, hopefully you've seen some things in there that will spark your interest and get you to want to give it a try. If you have been using the Quick Access Toolbar, I'm sure we've taken it to that next level. And as always, thank you for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.